Okay, so now how about Friday? Yeah, Friday, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have fun time. We're going to have our TGIF fun time. Because with Friday, we are getting into Saturday and Sunday. So we hope that with that, what we have shared with you from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you were able to inspire your weekend. And with this last day of the week, we hope that you have a fun time. And whatever we share with you, you're going to give you ideas of what you really can do during the weekend. How about that? So what is this fun times is all about? In fact, we're going to share with you games. We're going to challenge you with activities that you can do with your family and with your friends. And we also hope that with that, we can hear from you. We can see you either through your photograph, your video, or with your sharing. And we will have a good time together. Not forgetting that we will have gifts and prizes for you during this time. So we hope that as we launch this Live Life the Fullest.tv you okay, I okay movement, we all really can have a great awakening and so that ah oh, it can be done. No matter how life can be so tough or so good, we still can make the best out of it. So we hope that that will give you enough ideas what to do and so that you really know what to do. So this is Uncle Roland and friends, and we hope that you stay tuned because we really have lots and lots of stories and lots of lots of tips to share with you. Uh -huh. So with that, stay tuned because we're going to start this from Monday. And with this Monday, it will be non-stop. So with that, stay tuned because Uncle Roland is going to share with you how are you going to get in touch with us, how are you going to see us, how are you going to follow us. We'll be back. through your party, my way of testing society's smartest to make sure only the wolf will survive. But it's also so fun. Let's all take a moment and try to remember it's all fun and games. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. You will watch a video to understand the context of the questions before you start the trivia. If you answer a question correctly, you will get a point. If you answer a question wrongly, I'll kill you and you won't earn any points. But don't worry, girls can still win the game. Whoever there is, is the most points to survive and win the game. Enough hearing from me. Let's get to the game already. Scan the QR code on the screen to start. video, scan the QR code, and answer the questions, and win amazing prizes. Oh, no say I you, ah. Come, invite your friends and family, and your children as well, and play chill shui party. Hey, now, I believe that every family will have great story to share, and I know it's not easy to really have your family and have everybody to be united. And you must have come a long way to do that. Why not take this opportunity to capture this within a photograph? In fact, we are actually giving a complimentary family portrait photography 
just for you. And all we need to, for you to do is to share with us your family story to inspire many, many people who may be struggling. And I believe that your story and the photograph were able to inspire all of you. And that's all we want to hope to give it to you by you giving to everybody so that you okay and I okay. So take this opportunity, come to our studio and get a complimentary family portrait just for your family. We look forward to see you at our studio. So see you again. Welcome to the Chills Trivia Party. I'm your host, Kakatek, and today I'm going to tell you a story of the screams from hell. Rumour has it that when the park was newly constructed by Burmese Chinese brothers, Aw Boon Haw and Aw Boon Pa, the founders of the famous Tiger Balm, a witch doctor would sneak into a park late at night in order to perform seances. The park was far away from the city, which made it perfect for the witch doctor to conduct his prayers and rituals. He was known to all his ever-increasing clients who would often request for a winning number of upcoming lotteries or love potions. In order to grant his clients' wishes, the witch doctor had to ask for help from spirits which often remained in the park after he was done making use of them. Feeling lost, the spirits would possess the statues and various attractions scattered around the park, especially in the Ten Courts of Hell attraction which depicts the torture and punishment one is forced to go through after a sinful life in extreme detail. The park has hired security guards to prevent thrill-seeking teenagers and young adults from trespassing. The guards would frequently complain about blood-curling screams and wails coming from inside, particularly in the Ten Courts of Hell attraction and the dumping site where the possessed displays were discarded. In an attempt to appease the spirits, the security guards often spend a portion of their paychecks to buy offerings for them, but nothing seemed to stop the streams. Until today. Rumour has it that when the park was newly constructed by Burmese Chinese brothers Aw Boon... Aw? Boon... Boon Pa? In extreme detail. The park has... Actually, it's too fast. Need to have the... Until today. Hey! So, you have a story to share? And we believe that your story can inspire many, many families. This is going to encourage them how they can actually able to find happiness through their family, through their relationship with their spouse and with their children. So with that, we want to give our appreciation to you. And all you need to do is share your story with us and you were able to have a free family portrait photography session with us. That's right, this is worth $200, $300, some maybe even charging $800 for such a session, but we are giving you for free. So we look forward to your story and we look forward to see your family and then from there at our studio. So with this, Uncle Roland, looking forward to see you. Have a good day. Hi, welcome to Chill's Trivia Party. I'm your host, Kakatek, and today I'm going to tell you a story of the hell money for taxi. For years, there's almost certain that taxi uncles would tell this story to one another during a kopi session. It usually takes place after midnight 
at a desolate place such as Old Tempe's Road, Pungo Road, Mount Pleasant Road, Old Upper Thompson Road, or Lim Chu Kang Road, where a lady in white or red would be seen flagging down a taxi. The lady's requested destination was always a cemetery, which made a taxi driver curious and wonder why, on earth, would anyone visit a cemetery at such an ungodly hour. The entire taxi journey was eerily silent. Even when the taxi uncle tried to strike a conversation with the lady, there would always be no replies. Upon reaching the cemetery, everything seemed normal when the lady paid her fare, but after the taxi driver had finished his night shift, he was shocked to the core when hell notes were found among his daily income. Hey, play it already, ah? Come on, come on, wait. Yeah. Oh, that was so nice. The hand moved down by itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's scary, yeah. Tell this story to one another during a copy session. Copy, copy, sorry. Are you enjoying what you have seen? Yes! Actually, all this is because of Uncle Roland and his friends from Cafe Butterfly. That's right, you are right. You didn't realize we are all from the Cafe Butterfly families. So we have our passion, we have our joy, we have our expertise, and then from there we want to share with you. Now, if you are excited with what we are doing and you would like to be part of us, hey, why not join our host audition? That's right, Uncle Roland will be looking forward to work with you and then to see what you are passionate about. I believe that you will have something that you can share with many families and get them excited so that they know that a family is a place of joy and happiness and blessing. So with that, do not hesitate. If you enjoy what we are seeing and you want to be part of it, sign up again for our host audition and we will look forward to see you at our Cafe Butterfly Studio. And then from there, we're going to have a good time. Hello, welcome to the Chills Trivia Party. I'm your host, Kakatek, and today I'm going to tell you a story of the haunted yellow tower. Many years ago, on 15th May 1990, a loving couple was taking a stroll. 21-year-old Kelly Tan Ah Hong and 22-year-old James So were spending the night out at East Coast Park. They knew one another for almost a decade, and they only began dating just mere two days ago. After a long walk along the park, the couple decided to take a break at the Amber Beacon Tower, not realising the tragedy that would soon strike them. They arrived at the quiet and isolated Amber Beacon Tower near Kapak Si. Suddenly, a group of masked men appeared and attacked the couple from behind, stabbing Mr. So in the back and Miss Tan in the neck. Mr. So survived the attack, however, Miss Tan succumbed to her injuries. Ever since then, the passers-by claim to see sightings of a female apparition near the Yellow Tower. Others heard screams of help, but found nothing when they scoured the tower. It was said that the assailants were never caught, and the spirit of the girl was weeping about that ill-fated day every night. After a long walk along the park, the couple decided to take a break at the Amber... Amber... Beacon Tower. The passers claim to see sightings of a female apparition near the Yellow Tower and others. Yeah, it's too fast, baby. Uh. I think I lost the momentum. No, so. Hey, now this is Uncle Roland. So how is it for you? Do you like what you are saying? Now, if so, hey, support us. So what can you do? Now, all you simply need to do is to scan the QR code right in front of you. That's right, that QR code. 
and that QR code will bring us to our YouTube channel and all you need to do is to subscribe. The moment you subscribe to us, we will send you a notification whenever we have a live streaming or we will post a video. And for that, you will never miss what we are going to share with you. So do take note, scan this QR code because Uncle Roland will be back. Hi, welcome to Chill's Trivia Party. I'm your host, Kakatek, and today I'm going to tell you a story of the Budo Reservoir drownings. Budo Reservoir is one of the locations in Singapore that is claimed to be haunted by many. In June 2011, the decomposed lower body of Lin Xiao was found in Budo Reservoir. He was a 23 year old Chinese national who came to work in Singapore in a car repair shop. Lin went missing on 28 April 2011 at about 8 am and was last seen by a family member at his residence in Chai Chi. Lin's upper body has yet to be found. In September 2011, the bodies of a woman and her son were found floating in Bedok Reservoir. Tan Tzu Tzu, 32, and three-year-old son Gerald Chin were wearing red tops and their fingernails was also painted red. There's a superstition that when someone commits suicide while dressed in red, they will return as a vengeful spirit. In November 2011 and September 2012, two bodies were also found in Bedok Reservoir. These are just some of the many cases that were brought to light. Who knows how many bodies there actually are. Camera Roland. <laughs> He was a 23 Chinese national who came to work in Singapore. Should we restart? Sorry. And their fingernails were was also blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hey! Are you enjoying what you are watching? Now if so, this is what you can do right now. Follow our TikTok channel, live life to the fullest.tv, where we will share with you many, many short videos. And not only that, you get yourself to learn a lot more than yourself. And in fact, we also hope that through our TikTok video, you also learn about others so that you okay, I okay. So scan this QR code right now, right now, yes, right now, and follow our TikTok, yes. And then Uncle Roland and his friend will be back. So stay tuned. Welcome to Chill's Trivia Party. I'm your host, Kakatek, and today I'm going to tell you a story of the Curry murder. The Curry murder is a high-profile Singapore murder case in 1984 that supposedly involved the perpetrators covering up the killing by chopping the victim Ayakano Marimutu's body into pieces and cooking them in curry. On 9th January 1987, an informer notified Detective G. Alagamalai that a man was murdered three years ago and his body was chopped up and cooked in curry. Skeptical at first, the detective went to conduct inquiries into the case and found a missing persons report of the murdered man. He then spoke to another 30 people to gather background information on a number of suspects, one of whom was a mutton butcher. On 23rd March 1987, the Criminal Investigation Department raided the homes of the eight suspects and rounded them up for questioning. Initially, the suspects denied any knowledge of the murder, but after two days, one of them cracked. Marimutu was brought to the caretaker's quarters of the Presbyterian Church 
on the afternoon of 12 December 1984. On that night, it was said that Marimutu was bludgeoned with an iron rod in the kitchen of the quarters. His body was chopped up and cooked with chilli powder, spices and rice in a large aluminium pot of the type often used in Indian restaurants to cook nasi biryani. The remains, including cracked pieces of skull and bones, were placed into plastic bags and disposed of in several roadside rubbish bins. In March 1987, six suspects, including Marimutu's wife, Nagarata Vali Ramia, and her relatives were charged with murder. Even with a confession, they were given a discharge, not amounting to an acquittal, as no remains or evidence of the killing were ever found. A man was murdered and his body was chopped and... I'm sorry. No missing... Missing persons... To get the background information on... Okay, your turn. So how is it? Do you like what you are seeing? Or have you learned something? And have you been celebrating with us? Now, if so, scan this QR code. And so that you can follow us, follow our Instagram. Because that's where we will share with you all our celebration and all the stories that we want to share with you so that you always can keep in touch. And not only that, enjoy our IG Reels short video and so that you have also a great fun with us. And for what purpose? So that you okay, I okay, everybody okay. How about that? So scan this QR code right now, yes, right now, and then follow us. And from there, let's celebrate you okay, I okay. So Uncle Roland and his friend will be back, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome to Chills Trivia Party. I'm your host, Kakak Tech, and today I'm going to tell you a story of the Gelang Baru family murders. On the morning of 6 January 1979, four children aged between 5 and 10 years old from the Tan family were brutally murdered in their HDB flat. The victims were Tan Kok Peng, 10, Tan Kok Hin, 8, Tan Kok Soon, 6, and their sister Tan Chin Ni, 5. They were found slashed to death in the bathroom of their one-room flat in Block 58, Geelang Baru. Their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Tan Quen Chai, were at work when the murders took place. At 6.35am, the Tans left their home to operate their mini school bus business. At 7.10am, Mrs. Tan telephoned home to wake up her children as usual, but there was no response after three calls. She then asked one of her neighbours to knock on the door loudly to wake the children up, but there was also no response. After 10 a.m., the Tans arrived home and found the slashed bodies of the four children in the bathroom. All four had lacerations on their heads, and these lacerations was also found on Chini's face, and Kok Peng's arm was almost severed. According to the pathologist's report, each child had a minimum of 20 lacerations on his or her body. Till this day, the murders remain unsolved. They were found slashed to death in the bathroom of one of their one room flat. All four had lacerations on their heads, and lacerations was also found on Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. Can? Hey, we are back. Do you like what you are seeing? Now if so, there's one thing you can do. Follow us, right? Just follow us. So all you need to do is to take out your handphone and scan this QR code right now. That's right, this QR code. 
with this QR code, you bring us to our Facebook channel, uh, which is Live Live the Fullest.tv, where you can see our live streaming or our videos that we will post regularly. And from there, you can enjoy the, whatever that we're sharing with you. And you know what we're sharing, right? All we are sharing us about is how to get all of us to be you okay, I okay. And from there, you enjoy what is all coming from live life to fullest.tv. So with that, scan and stay tuned because Uncle Roland and his friend will be back. So with that, I hope that you have a good idea of what is coming your way what is coming to you and again what is this is all about from liftlifeofthefullers.tv is because we would love to have you okay i okay everyone okay i will be okay uncle roland will be okay so stay tuned again because from monday onwards we will be seeing you and we hope that with that you will love what we have for you so really stay tuned and we really will be back. So with that, Uncle Roland will be seeing you again. And then, Putian Pusan, we will never leave. We will be together forever. So with that, have a good weekend.